Good afternoon, crafting friends. This is Cheryl Ann. Today is Thursday, January 30th, and I'm I'm real excited. I think I'm finally over the flu. It's been a whole four weeks, but I'm I'm starting to get my energy and my strength back, and I realized um, I have 578 subscribers on YouTube. And I need to do a giveaway. So I'm doing a giveaway. Um, my birthday is actually Valentine's Day. Yes. No, I don't get double presents. <clears throat> but um, I want to give some special person a gift of appreciation for all of my subscribers and all of my followers on my Etsy shop. So... Um, starting, starting as soon as I post this, I guess, this will be my first giveaway. Um, you'll have a one in 578 so far. That's how many subscribers I have so far. Um, but you'll have a chance to win, um, this journal. And you know what? Don't, don't think... Don't think, oh, I'm never going to win it. I never win anything. You know, I used to be like that. And I actually won. <clears throat> I've actually won a journal a couple times. So, yes, it does happen. And, yes, you have a chance. So, um, to show my appreciation, like I said, I am going to do a giveaway. So this is one of my smaller journals. She's, um, let me double check. She's six inches by five inches. And she has um, two sewn-in signatures. She has 80 pages. So let's let's take a look. I just, um, I, she does need a closure. <laughs> She's a little chunky monkey. You can see here, she's full of fibers. I love doing these fibers now. So she's full of fibers. I didn't make her real overly Valentine's because I thought, you know, um, you can use her. <laughs> My birthday's in the middle of the month, and um, I'm going to cut off the, um, the closing date will be February 13th. And I will do the drawing on my birthday, the 14th. So on the inside front cover, she has a nice pocket here. You can put all kinds of stuff here. She has a journaling card that I've sprayed with dilution spray. There are no digitals in here. Um, these images are either mine or they're from Pixabay. So there is a lovely bouquet. And here we have um, some flowers. And it's sewn on, and then there's a little, there's a little plain tag there. All I most of the tags are plain. And there's a stamp. This book belongs to. She has a variety of um, sprayed papers, and they're all tea stained. Um, this is actually one of my photos from our lupine up in our our local mountains. Oops, there's a tag. Most of the tags have little fibers on them, so that one slips in there. Um, this is a photo of lavender. Mm, can't you almost smell it? I can. I do have lavender in my garden. And again, it's plain, so you can write on either side. Oh, I love to hear the... I just don't you love to hear the sound of the paper this oh this i found on pixabay it was little hearts um on a music staff i thought that's really cute this is a tag that um i've included because it went so well the colors went so well with it she does have some stamping some spray <clears throat> music paper with a ruffle some of the eyelash trim Here's another tag. This one comes off. I only I attached it with a paper clip, so you can move these. You can move around. She does have some purple. <laughs> it's quite a bit of purple and oh, violets. 
You know, my grandmother used to grow African violets back in the day. There's a little bit of red and yellow. A little ruffle. Another music staff with some lace. I take these outside on my side porch. And then we have our nice 70 degree weather. And um, <clears throat> I put them out there to dry. There's a tag with some eyelash trim. I loved, I love these two hearts on the wood grain. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I, I do when I made some of my um, journaling cards. You know, the paper that I had, my watercolor paper, was in this book with the spirals, and I thought I, I don't want to throw that away. I can use that, so. I have incorporated that into a journal. <laughs> I know. Our husbands probably think we're nuts. Mine's, mine's getting trained. I want you to know. Now he goes, he, he will ask me, do you, do you want this box before I throw it out? This is just so cute with the butterflies and the bird cages. That's why I said she's not strictly Valentine's Day. I mean, she is, but... You could use her before, after, during. There's a little index card tag. This one with the teddy bear and the heart. I thought it was just so cute. It's one of my papers that I put outside to dry. Another little tag, another little ruffled. This one, I, um, I didn't put anything in. It's sewn along the two edges, so you can... Um, I, I have tags. I'll I'll put a tag in that one. Some more music paper with some red lace. Oh, that's just so pretty. Another tag because this went with the colors on the page. <coughs> that's a picture. That's a bougainvillea. That's not mine out front. Mine out front is... That's a purple color. Although I have two on the side of the house that are just two years old now, but they're they're just getting their blossoms. But that's what they look like here in the desert. See, that one has a little bit of yellow. Some more stamping. Oh, I love this card. It went with the colors of the spray on the page. And I thought, oh, I just have to do that. And there's some more fabric. Um, this is Pixabay. And I uh, apparently I didn't sew it right. <laughs> so this one opens on the bottom. So she has a little bit of stuff hanging out on the bottom. <laughs> There's another one of my things I pulled from the watercolor book. She does have a little belly band. You don't have to put this journaling card. You could put something that you want in there. But oh, I love I love the yellow. How the yellow. Came out with the spray, too. In fact, I ran out of yellow. I had to order some more off Amazon. Oh, and I had to order magenta ink cartridge. $119, but it'll last me over a year. There's some more fabric. Some more stamping. Oh, she has, did I say she has 80 pages front and back and front and back. And at the end of the book, she has this nice, this is uh, pink and white lace. And then I have some of these I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, they're flowers on a roll. And you, you have to put them in the back of your book because otherwise they just stick up and drive all the other pages crazy. <laughs> and then in the back of the book is this heart. Look at that with the flower. And then I have a little tag. It goes with it. And again, you've got a nice, you've got a really nice pocket here for things. And that's the back. And I'll show you this side. Um, I had a really hard time matching this red. It apparently has some orange in it. Because look, here's the red lace. I'm like, ooh. So um, I, I only, I tied her with this muslin because this is kind of, it's it's white, but it's kind of a creamy white. So I thought that went well. And then this is her 
from the side view. So um, let me list the things you need to do for the giveaway. You need to watch the video. You need to subscribe. You need to leave a comment. Then you need to go to my Etsy store and I'll put the link in the description and you need to either favorite my shop or favorite one item. <clears throat> and like I said, um, I will do the drawing on the 14th and I will close entries on the 13th. I'll give the person a week to respond. If I don't hear from them in a week, then, I'll, then I will pick another winner. Now, I'm also going to have a couple more giveaways in March and April. So, um, cause I've been, I've been, I've been sick and I, I haven't kept up with this and I feel very badly cause I, I love you all and, um, I want to do something for you guys. So, um, happy entering and, um, do leave, do subscribe and do leave a comment and do check out my Etsy store. So that's all for now. Until next time. Bye for now. Thanks for stopping by.